Hi there. Welcome to the Radiology Bits On Call Case Collection, or what's also known as Demons of the Night. If you thought that was scary, wait till you see the collection of cases that are prepared for this course. Well, let me rephrase. If you think that was cheesy, don't let that deceive you. This course contains heavy stuff. However, the way this course is prepared would make the information that you'd gain here hopefully fun and straightforward at the same time. As a prior resident, I know that one of the uh, most difficult times during your training would be a tough case on call. And now as a consultant, I still know that some of these cases are scary for senior staff as well. And that's the reason I created this course in this specific format. Another reason that made me create this course is that uh, case reviews and books are great. Don't get me wrong there. However, in many scenarios, such case reviews don't do real life cases justice. It's sometimes much more than what you see in the book. Now let's see together how this course works. The course is composed of nine cases, each case called a demon. All of these cases are on call cases selected carefully to represent less encountered but extremely common pathologies. And although most of these pathologies are not seen in every single and each on call, you as a radiology resident will definitely face one or two of these conditions either during your duty or during board examinations. So the cases are important for both practical and examination purposes. Each chapter or demon contains its own video clip, questions, and references. The video clip is presented to you in a way that gives you a time to look at the case, make up your mind, and come up with your own thoughts regarding the approach and differential diagnosis. As you view the clip, you have the option to change the uh, resolution depending on your internet speed. You could also have full screen mode, and you could go back and forth in the case with a thumbnail here that shows you exactly where you're stopping. This gives you a chance to uh, scroll over the case and look at specific findings before you go to the uh, findings and discussion part of the clip. After giving you enough time to look at the case, the video clip will take you to the findings section. Although the findings are uh, described verbally, the important findings and descriptors would be shown in this box here. And the reason the case findings are presented in this way is to emphasize the importance of describing the case correctly. Description in uh, figure legends or in case reviews is always limited. And that's not the thing you want to learn. What you really want to learn when you're looking at these cases is to know how to describe correctly in a way that a full-blown radiologist would do. You really need to know how that radiologist would take the case from A to Z starting by talking about it. So after going over the findings in detail, the clip would take you to a discussion part. The discussion part is that where we talk about the differential diagnosis and the main approach. It's also a section where we discuss important anatomical or pathological points regarding the case. And after you know the diagnosis, you'll go to a highlight section. This highlights is the summary of the case where you have high yield take home points. The clip ends with a food for thought question, and this is a question that relates to the case but was not fully discussed. The food for thought question could be answered in the discussion section of the case. The discussion section is extremely useful. Here you could also put your comments and thoughts regarding any part of the course that you go through. And I believe much of the magic would happen here. Once you're done with the clip, you have the question section of each case. The questions are five multiple choice questions, each with a single best answer, where you could choose the question and see if you got your answer correctly. Now the questions are written in a way to emphasize and repeat some of the important information that you've learned from the clip to make them stick. And I also sneaked a few questions in with new information that was not presented in the clip. Each case has its uh, references at the end, something that you could go back to to uh, gain more information about the topics. Now as you go through the course, you could uh, follow your achievements and progress and see where you're at. 
the clips are collectively about three and a half hours and it would take you about five to six hours to complete the entire course once you're done with the course you'll get a certificate of completion something that you could add to your CV finally you could also rate this course and spread the word about it if you like what you learned another neat thing about this course is that all the content uh, is optimized for visualization on smartphones this feature makes uh, viewing this course easier from anywhere and that's about it if you would like to enroll in this course go to the radiology bits online school and unleash your demons at www.radbits.com see you there